you're famous for your watches and there was a fairly decent conspiracy wow. theory that it was the type of drugs you were dealing at that time. Why didn't I if there's do that? A, if there's a blue watch next to the plate of lunch, that means that we're means... going to have some cocaine. And the black oh, yeah. the black one's quaaludes. So yeah. if anybody wants any the, I think quaaludes, the... <laughs> that's far away. I'll see you there, buddy. Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan. I love a dirty Dan. Uh, <laughs> no, he goes, yeah, yeah. No, 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 wait, wait. Uh, no, uh, tuna salad. On rye with a <laughs> cup of tea. Ha Hopefully a lot, so we can keep doing Wait, this thing. This is Justin. Wait. Wait. This is Corey, producer Wait. and creator. And you know that. We met, we met, yeah. And you know that Cole? Yeah, I love you. Uh, give me, give me. Hug it out. We'll get in there. What's up, brother? Good. Where am I? This is you. Right there. Um, well, Generally in the middle is good, but wherever you want to be comfortable and we can adjust. We okay. wear headphones. You don't have to if you feel like Oh, no, I love yours. headphones. Okay. <laughs> They're my favorite They're thing. My favorite thing ever. Yeah. I, I want to be as weird as you guys. Water, Diet Pepsi, regular Pepsi, or a sparkling uh, blood orange sparkling water. Uh, water and no, no, I'm gonna, I'm staying away from the alcohol right now. Sounds good. Um, wait, wait, wait. Tell me this. <laughs> this guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but what I would like is a a Pepsi and a water. Yeah, Do you want the Pepsi in the water? Yeah, or I the water in the Pepsi? I want the... Can I, uh, <laughs> man, that'll be, that's a weird water thing to... Cold, that's okay. It's your request, man. I, I'm just clarifying so they make it right. Yeah? No. <laughs> I hope they do. I don't know how you could make it wrong. Let's see here. Does it matter which side? No, there should be an R and an L, but I, d I don't know if it were that there stereo. Are. There we go. I got you. I'm right. I'm right here. So, how many other uh, people have done this? Oh, this, is our ninth this is this is episode number nine episode or number ten? Nine. Number, number nine. nine. Yeah. You're in a decent group. Oh, I believe it. Chaz. Chaz. Um, Chaz and Corb were guests, mm -hmm. and then that before we took on the host role, and then. Shay Tomich was in town, so we had her come and do it with Jack Core, which was really amazing. Dave Overturf. Oh, that Dave Jim. Jim Dave would have been Dave would have been Oh, Kenny Jacobs. And then next on my list is Sean O'Daniel when we get closer to this. Woo! Oh, hey, Sean I got, I got, yeah. okay. All right, hang on. I have a, uh, do I hear myself? Yeah, I hear oh, you. I hear you. Oh, I hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear over here. Very good. Love it. Okay. I had a uh, conversation with Mario. Uh, Castro rainbow? rainbow bar. Oh, and he goes, and he goes, yeah, you know, we're not, we're not really good at with podcasts and shit. No, that guy's but, a uh, freak dude. <laughs> um, but I was like, I was like, you know what? If we had, uh, if we had you and Chris on dude, we could probably get some fucking rainbow stories going. We could. Oh, oh my pretty goodness. awesome. Would that be a fun little duo on that little green couch that Mario be, and Chris it might be yeah. fun um, so I know the owner the new owner of the rainbow I wonder if she would be interested in doing it with her legacy bartenders and what they're trying to do to like All change it up that would be pretty interesting that would be tough two of them oh, oh so her you'd bring you'd bring Yami Yami from the card room isn't that what her name is? Yeah, oh, you're thinking the, the crystal. crystal? That's oh, that's the crystal. The crystal. Oh, that's wait, wait. Crystal. Which yeah, one yeah, are we yeah. talking about? The rainbow. rainbow. Oh, the rainbow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The rainbow. Oh, I've been in there many a time, too. Yes, we all have. I don't think that. I've never been picked up. Uh, uh, we have him drop his mic and turn Oh, it do I need to back it up a little? So there's like a camera right there. Right so we got a camera you? right there. Oh, it's right. So you're all mic. You just got a big old dick. I was like, there we go. Put it right in my That's what I was doing. I was putting it right in my face. I'll talk from back here. Good call. Perfect. Okay. Cool. All right, I like we're it. In. We're okay. in. We're rolling. Are we, are we, are we on? Are you on? I don't know. Are we on? Are you on? Recording. I think I'm on. Are you I'm on? on? I'm are on. You on. I'm on. Welcome to the Claptrap, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Episode number nine. Yes. 
Yes, awesome. thank you, audience. Thank you, everybody in our audience for being here, as David, uh, Dave Overturf pointed out. Oh, yeah. In a couple of like couple point couple out. Over there. Uh, Honda, guy, a Honda guy actually is gone now because oh, his, car got, his car got towed. <laughs> I forgot about Honda Who's guy. Who's the Honda guy? Which I, so inside jokes, you'll oh, have to you'll, see you'll that. You'll have episode. to just tune in, okay. man. Okay, yeah. gotcha. All right. <laughs> I'm ready. Honda guy, uh, he got towed, and it happened to be his home. Oh, no. As well, yeah. So Honda guys, uh, God knows where. But you know what? Hope you're doing well, Honda guy. We wish him luck. Yeah, we wish you luck, wish you well. But yes. enough about Honda guy. Yep. This is the Clap Trap. This is Chaz Llewellyn, your host. And, of course, I am joined by the lovely co-host, Mrs. Morgan Ditto Kirkwood. Me and my three names. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having me again. <laughs> you do have one of those names where you, I, can't, I can't just say um, Morgan It's a story, Kirkwood. too. No, you Close. can't. It's Ditto no, Kirkwood. No, it's Ditto Kirkwood. It is ditto kirkwood yeah there's a reason for that i dropped the ditto once before we're not going to go into my history too far but mm -hmm. i dropped the ditto once before and i'll never drop it again because it's super unique yeah and there's places where i just go by morgan ditto and there's places where i'm ditto kirkwood and then there's if i kirkwood. don't if i don't get the ditto and um, because good. i've known you for so long yeah i forget the kirkwood that's totally fine because otherwise okay. it would be morgan but enough about us <laughs> our wonderful guest today the beautiful the handsome. You should see the head of hair on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Wilcox, everybody! Yes, he's wearing a hat. Yes. Try, try, I get try. it. Yes. That was funny. Oh, too many sacrifices. Too many sacrifices. Hey, chill out, baby, chill go crazy. Sacrifice it all just to get a new wristwatch. You can't even move alone when you decide. All my niggas' dogs, we ain't begging on the big side. You gon' hear my songs even if a nigga switch blocks. When we on the road, she give it up at the pit stop. Then we roll another one and heat it at the quick stop. Bet you never ever thought a nigga would be this side. Now you gon' remember all them nights you niggas missed on. Yeah. Uh, then I won't forget about them nights you niggas missed on. You're famous for your watches. What? You're not wearing a watch. I am. I put my watch right here on oh the table. Oh my gosh! Now is that? Yeah, is this? Uh, did you, what is that? What did you? Oh no! Did we're you hear everybody go? Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah! 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get into that one. How did you get it? How did you even know? When did you even? What is going on? I think first I, and foremost, why is that the first question that pops off? Fuck off. Is, <laughs> the, the it's watch? a great question. Because okay. that's the definition of the claptrap, man. Don't it's act like I yeah. don't follow you on Instagram, motherfucker. Well, I mean, all right, I get that. I mm. guess. Is this but, watch more sensitive than your other watches to microphones and cameras and such? No. Is that what, okay. no. What's the deal? Why are you taking but, it off? Uh, oh, man. Are we can, I we, want to know. Uh, okay, be, let's we, preface this. Wayne Wilcox is very famous for his ability to... First, I'm not famous, first and foremost. I think but, you are. Okay. And I think more people know you than you think they do. Sure. And that's, yeah, I that's love fair. the humility okay. of Okay, all right, all right. That's a little bit of humbleness, a little bit of... Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. Cool this okay. is content creation here, right? We're mm -hmm. going for the podcast. You create content yeah. regularly, eating wonderful lunches at a bunch mm -hmm. of local places. Nonstop. Or places that you've traveled to. Yeah. And it's yeah. always a photo of your food with your watch next to it. It is. Always. And I don't understand. A different watch. So different, yeah, usually, usually it is. It is. It is usually yeah. a menagerie of watches. So do you usually sit down and take your watch off? Is that your routine? So my routine would normally would have normally not been to do that, oh. but it turned into something like that. Okay. And it and the weirdest part about that whole entire thing was all right. So when I first started business. Oh man, you guys are digging. You're gonna yeah, make me let's dig. Go deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. As deep we're as you want to go. We're, go, gonna go. go. we're gonna go deep here. Yeah, we are. We're gonna have years of conversation. We love, love it. it. <clears throat> All right. So, um, so when I first started my business, um, I got into like the ATM business, mm -hmm. and when I started getting to be what I would consider successful, the idea was that um, I needed to meet up with business people in order to know what it was that I was doing with my money. Yeah. And then once I figured out um, that the easiest way to do is to take somebody to lunch, mm -hmm. then the idea was like, how do I show them that I'm engaged? How do I show them that I'm comfortable? How do I show them that I respect them? And it became a situation where the watch would go on the table. The reason why is because when you're talking to somebody, most of the time you're moving around, whatever. Oh, sure. And if, it, you know, it's a jarring feeling when your watch hits the table. And then another thing is that 
if I put it on the table, then I knew what time it was. So if I'm taking an hour's worth of time from a business person, then if I could just look down and know that already this is the time. Oh, that sure. It is, yeah. So you don't have to do I the whole wrist of, thing. Yeah, I don't have to do the wrist yeah, yeah. thing. And, um, and then it was, it was a situation where it was like, so then all of a sudden it was like a situation where I was paying attention to the time. And that way, if I took an hour's worth of time and we were really engaged, the idea was, Hey, I just want to let you know that the hour is up. And if you want to continue. So it felt like, I mean, it was borderline me being in control. <laughs> hey, I, sure, sure. I didn't, I didn't yep, want to, I was I not that. trying to necessarily be in control, but it just turned into that, okay. um, of the situation. But it was a matter, and then it, it just turned into this real respect thing where it's like, okay, now we're comfortable, we're calm, we're collected, I'm gonna put it aside. And um, and they're really heavy. Because mm -hmm. sure. they're nice. And, yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> Made of know, steel. They're, they're, yeah, they're, and it's, tears of my enemies. Yeah, and brawn. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and so then I would just take it off and it just felt like I was getting cozy. Okay. Yeah, that, that's very thought out. That's very thought out. It was out. very much. And then it turned into a huge cork thing. And I just noticed that <laughs> business people and everybody else were, they were talking about it. And then I was just like, well, I'm not going to tell you now. Why <laughs> would I tell you now this is what I'm doing? I like to think more of it. Like, I, I was really hoping it was going to be like a Mr. Rogers thing where you come in, you take your sweater off, yes, take your but, shoes off. And but you know, I, but this I'm is, sticking around for a while. If but my watch is on the table, is, I'm not going nowhere. That is exactly what it is. I yeah. think it represents it's that. It's 110% a, a Mr. Rogers you. situation. Mm -hmm. Sure. There's two, one, and what? Three years ago, I... I heard something from a uh, realtor I will not name. Oh no, we gotta have. Was this? Was this? No, we three, have to. no you can guess out of the was seventeen. This three years ago, you can guess out of the seventeen hundred that are in town. <laughs> mm -hmm. They assumed that that uh, that it was the type of drugs you were dealing at that time, and there was a fairly decent conspiracy wow. theory about the watch Wait, about no the watch way. about the Instagram watch pictures and I was going <laughs> Let oh, me, shit, let me know if you guys let me know if you guys think it's Molly why did I because not? I'm looking for Molly. <laughs> why didn't I if there's do a, that? if there's a blue watch next to the plate of lunch that means that we're means gonna have some cocaine. You get if it's oh. red and you know we got. I some think mess. The, I think the blue watch would be Walter Good. White. Yeah, yeah, and the oh, black yeah. the black one's Quaaludes. So yeah. if anybody wants, any the, I think Quaaludes. The, <laughs> that's what we You got right. today. Oh, oh my God, that's brilliant. This is really Really true? I think the black one is oh is God. the is the kiss of death. That so you had no idea about this conspiracy? This is the, the most black amazing. I think story. that's wonderful. I let's am, bring that back. Can hey, hey, wait, wait. I legitimately heard that through a through a very um Reputable. experienced realtor. Dude, interesting. We like need to And I will like I would never say his or her name. Good idea. No, wait, wait, wait. What? His or her name. His uh -huh. or her. Or which? There. Give it to us, Corey. Come on. Corey, don't Give do it. Give it to us, Corey. Corey. I don't recommend it. Dude, I would on. not. I would not. Ever. No, no, no. But, well, all right, so first and <laughs> this foremost. Person, this person has like very special spot in my heart. We, oh, we've done many, that? many deals together. Oh, okay. And I would, and and it was a, That's it was a random record, conversation, it? and it was a random conversation <laughs> that she had heard through. Oh, the, we got a she. There it is. is. There it Damn is. Damn it. Keep them talking. Let me spill right. the beans. That's fifty percent. Keep them talking. <laughs> well, I don't that think they had heard that they had heard through their their um channels company. And dude, it was a real thing, dude. So dude, that's it was, brilliant. You oh, were you oh were you were in the text line. You were in the you were in the news. Wow. Okay, now now yeah, here's yeah, your yeah. opportunity to. Uh, fact so check that's it. when I started following you, randomly, <laughs> and I'm like, why am, I, why am I even following this random <laughs> Wayne Wilcox? We guy? gotta bring, we gotta bring this all back, dude. If anybody's got any speed, yeah, I'd yeah, love yeah, yeah. To, Oh my god. And I'm going. He's at Jake's right now with a black watch. What does that mean? You should, you should, oh you should caption your new post, right? Where I'm, gonna, I'm going, with I'm this. speeding my way to Listen. this. Oh yeah. Or like, oh, yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. wait to get a Coke, Coke 
at blah blah blah. <laughs> and, and I love stuff. this. This is so <laughs> Let's good. He's at he's at Pita Pit with a fossil. Yeah, yeah. What, what does, does that, that mean? mean? <laughs> oh. I love it. I what like that. that. That's, you know, what that's, does that mean? That's a very unique uh, thing about you and a very interesting story. I never thought a watch could be that fucking I know. So it's this is already it's creative this is controversy. already going in the right direction. Yeah, we 100%. all can say that this is going in the right direction just purely for that story. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. Well, that's so our is, episode, yeah. everybody. Yeah, we <laughs> killed it. better than that. <laughs> we can't. That's we gotta end on a high note. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I Wayne, here on the Claptrap, what we like to do, obviously, we like oh. to go on some tangents, tell some stories and, and oh, bullshit right. and stuff. Time. around. Let's do oh, it. Yeah, let's do it. But I, we, we do like to, to talk about the Montana. The, I'm a big... Uh, uh, Lived here uh, all my life. Uh, right. Statriotic Montana type yeah, of dude. Yeah. Is that and an I actual love, word or did you make it up? Uh, statriotic. My yeah. sister said that once and I cling to it. I love it. Keep yeah, going. Very statriotic. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and, and I do love Billings. I, I think it gets yeah. shit on a lot. It does have its faults, but it's got beautiful things out there. Yeah. Agreed. And we want to highlight them, such as you and your watch and your, and your drug <laughs> okay. deals. Okay. Right. But so, <laughs> so what we like deals. to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got a lot. Just to let you know. <laughs> Yeah, you uh, there. there's Dirty Dan up there, of course, <laughs> <Dirty> clapping. <laughs> uh, oh, so uh, we like to go through the origin story. Kick us off. What, 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 what's Wayne Wilcox's origin oh, story to Billings, boy. Montana? Were you born and raised here? What brought you here? What, what's this, your origin story? Man, you guys are. Yeah. Here we go. Again. Yeah, we go Deep. for it. This, so, this is an interview, man. I don't know what you thought this was going to be. But. So. <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> He's on the spot. No, all right, all right, all right. No, we're gonna. We're so gonna when you this. cross the border, He's no, no, it only it back. only goes down from here. Like, it really does. All right. So my dad was uh, born and raised here. Okay. Okay. Oh, we sure. got really. So this is gonna get good. My yeah. grandparents, um, they own the largest Yogo Sapphire mine in the nation. Cool. And Very my, sweet. My down by Phillipsburg or uh, No. Um, over in this place called Sapphire Village by Utica, which is by Stanford. Name holds up. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. So um, in the Belt Mountains. So they owned mm -hmm. the Little Belts. They owned the Little Belts? Yeah. It was wow. a pretty, that's, pretty uh, uh, baller that's, thing. Yeah. And, uh, Back when you can own mountains. Mm -hmm, when you can own some shit. <laughs> um, but... The, and then he was also a foreman for Conoco Phillips during the Rockefeller days. Was, oh shit! Yeah, yeah. So, so this goes like, way back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This so is we're like talking a, turn of the century type of stuff. But my my twentieth uh, century ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ish. That's right. There you go. Good job. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, you got some good memories there. Um, <laughs> history nerd. History he is nerds. A huge um, history nerd. And then my mom, she was born in Colombia. Okay. So, okay. So she spent all of her childhood in Colombia. Sure. Oh, that's where the watch no, comes in. I was gonna, just about to say it's all going down from here. <laughs> <laughs> just because of the Col just Columbia, down south where Colombia is. Columbia reference. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and then she. <clears throat> I don't tell this story, but here you are. All right. So when my mom was younger, um, my her brother was actually. A hitman for Pablo Escobar. Shit. So in the roughly the a little earlier than the eighties before Pablo before they got him, um, they burned the capital of where my right. where my mom's grandparent or my mom's parents lived. Okay, and the only reason why they burned the capital because you burn the capital, then uh, all land rights. It's mine. It's mine. It's like a I dog peeing it. on a tree. You know, you burn it. It's mm -hmm. mine. Right. So they used to own a lot of land there. And in Colombia, owning obviously a lot of land and a lot of animals, that's what creates wealth. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then they had to flee and become coastal people. Um, well, my mom's brother decided in Latin America... Uh, you go with your family. Like right. it's a very, right. very oh, family yeah. oh, oriented. Family. 100%. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's almost the religion. You yeah. got to mm -hmm. take care of your parents. Yeah, whatever. 100%. Um, and so. Which is a beautiful thing. Yeah, my, frankly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and my mom's brother decided to go with um, the parents, the family. Mm -hmm. And Pablo found this to be a very treacherous thing that you would ever do. Right. Uh, Once you're in, you don't mm -hmm. leave. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Once you're in, you don't leave. Um, well, he left, and so they put a hit out on him, and when this happened, my mom was um, 
part of a, a group of missionaries and they decided to take my mom with them here. Interesting. So then Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. That's heavy. Yeah, that's pretty pretty wild, yeah, man. That's absolutely wild. So they so they came to America and they came straight up into Montana or No, or the, well, that... all right, so the family is the Fowlers. Um mm -hmm. they're uh, pretty big with like uh, Faith Chapel. Okay. Um but they were the the start of like this um, the missionary thing, that's their thing. Um, the family was, uh, even Ernest Fowler were like the leaders of it. And that was my grandpa and grandma. Um, okay. not, not biological, but, um, and then, uh, they used to take trips back to Columbia, um, to go and see the family and, and do like the missionary stuff and the village that my, my, gr uh, grandpa Ernest was, I guess teaching to um, got caught up with a bunch of guerrilla terrorists and they ended okay. up killing all of the men. Oh wow. Jesus. So I killed everybody. Um, and my mom said that she was like, you know, five feet point blank. And oh it was my like, God. They, but they That's said wild. that she, she told me the story that the, they, that the terrorists had heard something in the woods and it must've scared them off. Wow. But uh, it was really interesting. The last time that I, not the last time, probably like when I was in fourth grade, I went to hang out with my uncle um, in Colombia when we went back, and she was like, uh, "You don't un you don't hang out with uh, you know Fernando." And I was like, "Why don't I hang out with Fernando? Fernando's right. cool, and he's like, yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. the and he had this rope necklace, uh, you know, he's just a cool guy, uh, very nice." And he's like, "When we were kids, he we had a really good friend, and that friend no longer exists." And I was like. Oh man! Oh boy! Oof. What does that mean? Mom was like, "Well, you know, you carry a machete into the jungle, and you know, two go in, one come out." Fuck around and find out. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's yeah. basically. That's heavy shit. So, Wait, I I knew like barely a sliver of your history because you and I've crossed paths for oh, decades yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, right. The fact that this is the story you're sharing with us, you guys, I'm honored. Also, yeah. I'm officially always in charge of booking the guests. <laughs> or you're going to top it, and I'm never going to do any better. This is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, th I think you've done it. I yeah, you, topped you, it. You, I'm you, out. I'm I mean, out. This, w you've, like, there's so much more. Yeah, you couldn't right. get much more. Uh, it's, there's a lot that's going on, and I just don't talk about it. I yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can appreciate that. Whatever you're comfortable no, with. No, 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 yeah. no. But it's awesome. You go as this far is, as you no, want to no, go. But no, still keep go, talking. We're yeah. going to go, <laughs> go far. We're going down the rabbit hole. No, that's hole, great. Yeah, yeah. Hours, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just don't. Uh, it's just a really interesting thing to talk about. Yeah. Um, yeah, no no doubt. So so then, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I'm born here. We actually lived down the street on South Billings Boulevard in a little earth um log cabin because my grandparents were very much not into they were baby boomers oh, they yeah. were not into giving money to their children you like, gotta work for you your gotta earn it yeah 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 that was my grandpa was the same way um, 100%. And, a millionaire and, and mm -hmm. didn't, didn't drop a dime no yep. and and the 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 other thing that in, that's interesting is the museum of the rockies is the museum of the rockies because my grandparents they paid they were best friends because my grandpa was um he loved minerals Oh, sure. um, so, you know, he's foreman for Conoco. They, they deal with oil and oh, whatnot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Geology, then, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, geology all, all the way to the core. And um, so then they became friends with, he was best friends with uh, Jack Horner. Oh, that's the awesome. Dinosaur Paleontologist. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then... D World d famous. Horner. Yeah. Um, so my grandpa spent a lot of money, you know, helping him out with the digs and then allocated a bunch of money for the Museum of the Rockies. And that's the reason why that's there. That's wow. amazing. Yep. So you're more connected than any of us. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And we got love. we got a lot to owe your your <laughs> well, grandfather for because family. like yeah, yeah, when yeah. I was a kid, I loved going to museums. His that did. was like yeah, dinosaurs, man. Yeah. Yeah. With the with the fucking dumb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can hear technical him, term. You can hear you can hear the Fuck. mechanical dinosaurs <laughs> clicking more than you can hear them roar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that and 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 then. Um, so I haven't been to the Museum of the Rockies since I was a little kid. Do it. But, well, there, it's a sore subject because oh. then uh, when my grandparents got older, um, my grandpa ended up with colon cancer, and he had to get sent to a facility to take care of him. He ended up with Alzheimer's and passed away. Mm. And then my grandma 
after that, uh, they had their all of this is when trusts were a huge thing. Right, right. Trusts, sure. yeah, yeah, still are. So they put uh, all of their money into this trust, which was um, ran by an attorney, and then the attorney, um, my grandma ended up with Alzheimer's, and the attorney convinced her that he was dating her. Oh no! And then oh, they, so they geez. so he. All what? of the vacation properties that we had, in which we had a whole bunch. We had one in Arizona. We had one in the Little Belts. We had one in um, the Gallatin National Forest. Before they turned it into a, a national yeah. forest, they were grandfathered mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. right. over with this place called Lava Lake. Sure. Uh, it's I know like where a that's big at. hike up there. Mm -hmm. It's the first homestead that's on the hike up. Wow. That's my grandpa's whole entire property right there. And... Um, and, uh, How do you get away sold, with that? He sold all of it. What? Mm. Elder abuse is not something that yeah. was talked about until probably yeah, the was, last it was decade. A, yeah, it was yeah. A, a hundred and ten percent. Elder this abuse, is exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and so then she just gave all of everything away to him. Oh, and he took he took the he took the lodge mm. that was over at the, in the Gallatin, yep. sure, which yeah. would have been at this oh, point geez, in time millions, millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And. Um, yeah, and and he still lives there to this day. It makes me want. It makes me so aggravated. I <laughs> well, really yeah. want to like. Do you just, still have family with the Escobars? Or you know, like, no. that's <laughs> not very, no, well, he's dead. No, <laughs> but, but, he's, uh, he's he's a little dead. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, like, he's mostly dead. He's, he's a he's lot, a lot dead. dead. <laughs> uh, but uh, and so here, but he, you know what? It really wants me. Makes me do. It's not, none of it was my money. Right. Okay. Well, so no, it didn't no, belong no, to no, me. No. But it's just sad that they got ripped off. It, yeah. And that's the point, right? That's the bigger point. It's yeah. the deceit like, side And of it's it. not to say that it ever would have landed in your hands no, to begin no. with. But, to, but when somebody does does your family wrong like yeah. that, yeah, like what that's, do do? that's rough. And that's just shit. So then it was like a, an idea that I really need to like uh, be successful and do something um, incredible for myself mm -hmm. so that I could buy like five or six or seven billboards and then just put a picture of that guy up there in Bozeman. <laughs> oh, and they're like, you guys like this attorney? He dated my grandma so yeah. they could get all of this money. Jeez. Like, Hopefully it was worth it, dude. You know? Right, like, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Right, right, right. A little right. revenge. Did that ever happen? Selfie. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. yet. But you want to know something that's really amazing is at one point Please. in time I did uh, – Consider, I was talking to Bill Kennedy. He used to be the county commissioner oh, for yeah, Yellowstone yeah, yeah. County. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he begged me to become county commissioner mm -hmm. of my area. And I was like, if I did that, mm. then I could really mess with this guy. Oh. Uh, We're coming to the midway. Uh, all so, right. Oh, this is midway? So this, this is, is halfway. halfway. Yeah, this, this is, is halfway. halfway. And we still got more. We're still in the origin story, baby. I know. So that's all right. We will do a part two with you. Oh, yeah, 100%. I think you have 100%. amazing things that people should There's... hear, and I am I like. Hey, don't 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 give him too much hope. We still have a whole second half coming up, <laughs> ladies gonna and run gentlemen. Out of it. So, you know, <laughs> we... We, we, he probably only has one more story. <laughs> I only have, I've, I've All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a quick break on our end, uh, which will probably be a second for you out there listening. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you guys for continuing to listen. This is your chance to go. Please get a, get a shot, get a drink, whatever, because we are going to cheers pee. you, our audience, at the beginning of the second half of this podcast. Thank you guys. Don't go anywhere. Please like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell, get the notifications, give us five stars, give us a great review. Please help us out. We appreciate each and every one of you. We will be right back at the Claptrap. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, do you really?
Oh yeah, man, it doesn't end. Like I said. You know what? Elon Musk, he's so like you thirteen. Know you're not a good one. So I think that's a he trend. He doesn't have thirteen kids. Corey, put the camera on me so I can check my hair. Let's. Somebody look up e how many kids Elon Musk has. Please. Hey Siri. <laughs> You won't get service. Don't don't try. Oh yeah, no, it's trash. Hey Siri. But but I I okay. How many kids does Elon Musk have? Let me let me do a bet. You I know you're I know you're a betting man. Your... I'll bet you ownership it's between of one it's ATM. It's between eleven and fourteen. <laughs> and how much? Let's just do a solid twenty. Twenty dollars. Eleven. I'm, I'm saying I, I'm saying Elon Musk has between eleven and fourteen license. children. You one. know what? No, it no, doesn't no. matter no, because no. because if it's between eleven and fourteen, including eleven and fourteen, and you're wrong, I mean he wins. Exactly. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty spot. Okay. Deal. Shake. All right. So we. Yeah. Got it. Boom. <laughs> okay. So are we gonna go? Can I look yet? You I mean, pull up Safari. I mean, you got the computer, dude. I got it right here. You got the interwebs, okay. don't you? All right. I got it right here. He's got it right there. Okay. Elon Musk. Ooh. <laughs> Elon Musk children. Oh, I got to do it again. I think it's. I know how I think it's four, five, maybe six different. How many different children does Elon Musk baby have? Baby mom. Elon Musk's eight children are. Eight. 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 Children. Eight. I just got ten. Vivian Jenna Wilson. No. Saxon Musk. Do you want to hear the remaining three? Yes. Eight, nine, ten, Jamie eleven. Musk. Nevada what did I say? Twelve. No, no, she just named five, and then she named the There's last eight. three. Eight. There's eight. Oh, hers Total. says ten. I don't believe it. He says Mine says ten. There's I don't eight. believe it. I don't believe it. Still not eleven or fourteen. Still 14. not eleven. I think it's between eleven and fourteen. Still. It's not. Somebody are you? Are you saying? Wait, wait. Can somebody go out to the parking Nine lot? Nine living children. One who passed away is <gasps> an infant. Oh no. So, oh, still, it, still doesn't 10. cut it. Yeah, that's, that's ten. ten. Yeah. Am I down twenty? You're yeah, down yeah. twenty. Double or nothing on. Oh, <laughs> shit. Double, double or nothing on the putting oh, green. Oh, double or nothing oh, on the putting green. This is where we get into the. This is where we get into. Where we get into, the moment of. You realize that my mom has taken cold at the Big Sky State games for 10 years in a row, right? Yeah. Is it golf? Yes. And golf. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I already said it. So so we're going to have a ringer. We're going to bring your mom in. I already <laughs> said it. I love it when I call my mom to do things Mor for me. Morgan, mom! you shoot, you shoot for Corey. I already mom, said it. The meatloaf! Mom! The meatloaf! <laughs> Okay. Mom, what Where is we, she doing? Are we what ready is she for the doing? intro? Is this a yes? Done and done. Yeah, I'll do it. Done and done. <laughs> Double or nothing on Double the Double or green. nothing on the putting green. All right, welcome back to the Claptrap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for, for listening to us. We're very honored and, and, and privileged oh, that there you they guys. Are. Oh, yeah. They there were we asleep Dirty Dan, again. I see you there, buddy. Dirty Dan. <sighs> Dirty Dan. I love a dirty Dan. Um, <laughs> but hey, guys, we're so thanking our audience right Pinto. now. Corey, we are thanking our audience. Stay Shh. true to the... There you go. Yep. <laughs> because without you, Girls aren't fun. we don't have a podcast. So thank you guys so very much for sticking around. Again, if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the notifications, five stars, give us a good review, whatever it takes. Please help us out so we can get bigger, we can get better, and we can get maybe more... Corey lists in the Strong. future. <laughs> God, he's a pro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our cheers to you. If you have a drink out there, hold it up. Even if you have a water or a, watch. Or a Pepsi, I, 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 whatever or a watch. you got, go ahead and hold it up. This is to you. We thank I you guys so very much. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. The audience will notice this week that it we have. sounded um, amazing. We've actually downgraded. What do you mean downgraded? Drums. We've downgraded from the uh, plastic flute? champagne flutes. <laughs> To these um, bathroom brushing teeth and rinsing. No, cups. these are straight from dentist office. <laughs> no, I got them <laughs> at the Albertsons. That is actually Albertsons. very, very true. Yeah, this is this is that straight is from the dentist. orthodontics, right? Where That's they were like, "Yep, the brush your teeth and do all this stuff it's before the you wash get in the chair." It's the washing spit cup. But right yeah. now we're not. We're just we're just we're enjoying just, a taste. We're not spitting. We're yeah. not. We're not spitting. Years. Almost. How did you okay. get into the ATM oh, stuff? Man. Let's go. I kind of want to go there. Like, what 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 made you go? You know what? I'm going to buy myself an ATM and I'm just going to expand from there. All right, here we go, man. Let's do it. We're going to burn through this time. Okay, okay. Go. sure. All right, so at one point in time, I had three jobs. I was going to school full-time, had my daughter full-time. Sure. And um, I Please would, tell me you're working at the Buckle then. Uh, no, it wasn't Damn Buckle it. Days. I was working at UPS okay. Office Depot. Oh, and I, I knew was that. sharpening uh, cha chainsaw chains and lawnmower blades and knives for my dad. Okay. And with that, um, I ended up in a, like... 
really, really just hating life. Yeah, and to honest, too much. Yeah, I, I, would I, I, I would not I, enjoy that. I would not enjoy it. Not me. I was going to school full time. I was like, and I had this little girl um, that I was taking care of, mm-hmm. my daughter. And um, the, the problem is, is that in the end, I really hated you and you and you and I hated myself. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just really oh, yeah, pretty, pretty yeah, much yeah, hated, yeah. hated everybody because why is everybody else? Why do you guys get a podcast and I don't get a podcast? <laughs> sure, sure, right? sure. Like I wanted to be, I want to want little, my own podcast. A little bit of FOMO going on yeah, there, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so then one day I found out it was an epiphany. Okay. My ex-wife had decided that she was uh, done with me uh, the first go around, which I wasn't really doing anything wrong, but I wasn't really making enough money. You, sure. And, 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 and but to fairness to yourself, though, yeah. right? I mean, you, it's not exactly like you were living the life that you wanted or imagined. No, and that wears man, on you, I was right? Having a rough time. It was a rough time because yeah. yeah. it just wasn't going very and well. And that wears on a person. Absolutely. So, and, and a marriage. You know, so the person that you were and then and, and just trying to fucking make ends meet and just doing this, the grind, that's good. not for you. I'm not saying that nobody can enjoy it. Right. No, I'm no, just no, saying no, for should. like yourself. But. Like that's I hated it. it because I was working at UPS and my parents told me that I needed to have a safe, secure job. And, and that is a my, safe, secure job. N- not really. No? No. Oh, okay. There's no my job that is safe and secure. Well, not anymore. Well, that's this, fair. We're going to dig. We're going to, we're going to dig. No, not even oh. back at really? all. Okay. There's no such thing as a safe, no, secure sure. job. When you're working for the man, you're, you're, you're not, always you can, on no. the chopping block. Listen, what happens? Let me ask you this. Okay. What happens if you hurt yourself? Well, there's work, workman's comp if you are sure, working for, for an employer. For how long? Uh, depends on what it is. And it also depends if you have short-term and long-term disability. Does this sound like you're going to be taken care of for the rest of your life? Oh, Absolutely long-term disability not. would be the only one if yeah. you were to lose, right, I think right, it's right. So lose a safe? limb or lose the ability is to it continue. Secure? I mean, uh, other than a lawsuit, is it secure? Okay, long-term uh, disability, it de- yeah. I know, I know it decommits, you get 900 Oh, nine hundred dollars to lose a pinky at Deaconess, which is no longer well, Deaconess. That's a, that's Billings, <laughs> Billings Clinic, clinic. clinic. which yeah. has yeah. been Billings, Billings, Billings Clinic, clinic for probably twenty yeah, years. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. still catching up with the times. Yeah. In my opinion, in my understanding, as a small business person who has these offerings, long-term disability can it, you're not going to get rich on it, but you could get taken care of, sort of. Sort yeah, of. It's sure. a portion. But, but you're still it's not kind of relying on people. Yeah, it's yeah. a portion, not the full Listen, amount. If you ever wanted to retire, you you can't even retire on no. a million dollars nope, if, you were, if you really wanted to this day and age and guess what it only continues to go up so yeah, yeah. the idea of a safe secure job that's not a real thing okay, okay. At least i agree in my with opinion you. i'm not uh you you get to think the way that you want but i agree uh, with your uh um, no that's fair logic yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I, so they always wanted me to have a safe secure job and i would say but you guys don't have a safe secure your job. My mom was working as a housekeeper at the Holiday Inn. Not that there's anything wrong with that. She no. did it for oh, yeah, yeah. years. Sure, sure. But they just got rid of her once she you know, when th- once they felt like she wasn't useful anymore. Oh. Right. It was really, really well, interesting. They could hire because a, somebody young to take her spot. Yeah, 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 exactly. well, Five dollars less less yeah, you're losing less steam, less lady. You're losing yeah. steam. So, um, and what she wasn't. And then my dad, he owned the saw shop and he was a very poor man, but he would love to talk. And yeah. he, he could have just... He sure. enjoyed he, what he did. You, he did enjoy what he did, and it was a, a situation where he had a job that uh, could have provided a pretty good living because it's a dying art. Yeah. Um, but instead, he wanted to talk. Well, this was not me. The point is that I'm yeah, 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 yeah. For it's me, it's not you. Yeah. I remember that. I, all right. So f- first and foremost, uh, I remember I was watching uh, an episode of of um, I was watching an episode of Seinfeld. And in that episode of Seinfeld, I don't know if you guys recall it, but it's where Jer- or George is talking about his, how he's just a failure at life. They're sitting at the coffee That's shop. That's right. Yeah, I do recall that. Saying, yeah. uh, he's just saying, you know, and Jerry, asks, Jerry says, you know, well, is there any reason for you to get up at, uh, you know? In the morning. Yeah. yeah. And he goes, well, I like to get the daily news. And it's like, well, that's <laughs> not really a daily It's not really a job, news. Yeah, Before you continue, thing. the only episode of Seinfeld I remember ever watching is when Kramer lived in his shower and he made a salad. And yeah. it was my mm. favorite thing. And I could live in a shower. <laughs> Dude, the best. Uh, with permanent Probably one of the best sitcoms ever created, in my opinion. Mm. And yeah, I think so. And uh, so then. Jer- yeah. But then Jerry and Elaine. Uh, 
were talking to him and they said, do you realize that every decision that you ever made was the wrong decision? And that <laughs> means that if you did the exact opposite decision, you would have a different outcome. And he was like, yeah, maybe, you know, and like, and then the waitress comes up to the table and goes, <clears throat> let's see here, uh, chicken salad um, with potato on the side and a coffee. And he goes, yeah, yeah. No, 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 wait, wait. Uh, no, uh, tuna salad on rye with a cup of tea. Ha -ha. And uh, she looks at him and goes, okay, and just walks away like, oh, that was fucking weird. Right. Right. And then uh, they were like, what is that about? And he's like, well, I'm going to just do things opposite. Well, this lady from the bar looks back at him and Elaine says, hey, hey, that, uh, that lady just looked at you. And he was like, so what? And she goes, uh, well, I mean, it, you should go and talk to her. And he goes, Elaine, bald men who live with their parents don't talk to strange women. And then Jerry <laughs> goes, well, uh, now's the time to try, you know, try, try something new. Do yeah, the yeah. Try the opposite. Do the opposite. So he said, yeah, I should. And so then he gets up and he goes to her kind of like uh, nervous and. George Costanza. George e. Costanza. -y and like nervous and says, that's a word yeah. uh excuse me it miss now for sure and uh she says yeah and he goes <clears throat> oh i just i just know it couldn't help you we're looking in my direction and she goes yeah you just ordered the same thing i did <laughs> and he goes um he says my name is george i have uh have no job and i live with my parents and she goes hi i'm laura and he just goes like this and looks back at, at Jerry and Elaine like, I can't <laughs> believe this. This is now my religion. Right, right, right. <laughs> do I'm going to do that. This, this is going to be the... All right, so the bell went off. It was like a slap in the face. I am doing everything exactly backwards. I sure. should not be listening to my dumb friends and my dumb family. Forgive them. <laughs> I should not. I love Forgive them. And my they now dumb ex-wife. I shouldn't be listening to any of these people. Yeah. This is should be my religion too. Sure. And my religion was this. Uh, gut instinct. Um, I got to be, you know, at least in tune to listen to what people have to say. I've got to be engaging, likable. I've got to care about what other people have to say. And if I just follow this route, my life will turn out the way that I want it to turn out. Sure. So it was a lot of affirmation right there, like a lot yeah, of yeah. real yeah. Um, the universe talk. And um, I first started, and everybody told me that I wasn't... Um, <coughs> Excuse everybody me. yeah uh bless you or not bless you but no nah, it's just a little <coughs> cough, cough. the so so then the craziest part of the the story which it gets super deep but we probably don't have time for that but um the crazy we don't uh believe me it's a long <laughs> one because but it's so good but here's the thing it's so good because you guys wouldn't believe it we're gonna put a pin in it and we're gonna we have gotta, you back we'll come back to it going. yeah yeah but it's it, it is really that good well anyways at people at ups they were like you'll never leave because the insurance is too good right. and i was like you won't amount to nothing yeah yeah you you're a jackass that's exactly what they would say <laughs> you're a bum yeah they would say that they would say you're never leaving and uh but you'll just become a slut well, you know, yeah, yeah, it could have been a, <laughs> well, right. you're just a hooker like, at heart. I don't, I don't know. That's, that's, I was like, I think that that would have been a good thing for me thing. at the time. Yeah. That should have been. <laughs> Can I have more of that, please? <laughs> like, that's, a little more I'll sweaty. take that. I'll take that. Uh, where do we do? Where does the class begin? Where is it right here? Right. Right now, or? It's, no, um, wait, we, we have that on Tuesdays. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> uh, you did. So you had this epiphany, and um, so then it, like, yeah, it just hit me, and that I just really needed to work on my core of belief, and and then um, I remember if I was going to believe this, then I was going to have to be openly engaged with everybody, which also means that anything that you say, I'm going to have to have an opinion about it, right? I Interesting. Gotta okay. I have an opinion about this because if I care enough about myself, then I need to care about you too. And I need to like, it's really, really kind of a, a weird thing. Okay. So, so just be, being more relatable then. Yep. Yep. 
Yep. Okay. And engaged because yeah. how am I going to be how am I going to be successful at anything if I'm not making the opportunity to connect with people? And I was mildly known because I grew up in town, mm -hmm. but I wasn't known. You know what I mean? Like nobody really oh, sure, knew sure. me. And I'm not oh, saying I that knew I knew you. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> That's not saying much. Maybe. Yeah. I tangent. Guess, yeah. <laughs> Quick tangent. No, no, you do it. You did. You know. 16th birthday. Yeah. I oh. only got to shop at the Buckle on a birthday. <laughs> And Mr. Wayne Wilcox and Lucas Seely were working there. Yeah. And oh, I picked you out, would. I picked out, <laughs> they were not that much older than me, but they were very polite and very professional. But they sang me happy birthday and I danced did. for me. And I, I had that. never felt so seen as a teenager. <laughs> Fast forward yeah. five years. Wayne is running in the circles. Still with, working at the buckle. I don't think I don't know if you're still at the buckle. We we were running in the same social circle mm -hmm. with Robert Molina. Okay. And I had an after party uh, at my house and was going to make yeah. us breakfast, mm -hmm. and I wasn't doing it right. So Wayne came into my kitchen. This is very and true. This is when I knew that you were someone that I would enjoy a conversation with every uh, time uh, I saw you. Yeah. Because we stood in my kitchen at three in the morning discussing the perfect waffle and the perfect pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and oh life and all the wonderful things Can i'm in my early 20s you were in your mid 20s and uh, this is about 18 years ago Dude, and that's so. when the orgy began that's it there it so, is there, no god no no. <laughs> All right. So my tangents turn into make fun of Morgan. Well, I'd like to turn it back to it's Wayne. Just exposing and your orgies. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Never happened. Continue. Um. So. <laughs> All right, so here I am, and I'm open, and uh, all of a sudden, I'm starting to get a lot of feed. A new right? perspective. New perspective, yeah. lots of feed, and uh, I'm the craziest part is like, okay, so now what do I do with this? Right. And the idea is that what you need to do is you really kind of just need to listen to what's being told to you, listen to the things that are happening in your life, and be, you know, kind of like most of the time we we walk around like this with blinders on right? we don't because yeah, 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 we yeah. only want to see what we want to see we don't want to yeah. see a whole lot of anything else that's super true so my idea is like i want to see everything like yeah. let's open it up i'm going to be that's where opportunity comes from right i mean so the, you see and, doors opening and this way. is where it all i was sitting at this casino talking to my friend and he was saying to me you know, what do you want out of life? And I said, well, I just don't understand how you're younger than me. You own a casino and your ATM makes more money than I do. And you're not even here half the time. And that's, again, I was like, yeah. I just said it. Why yeah. am I not paying attention to the things that I'm saying? And wow. I said, well, I'm going to do it. And he said, dude, I don't think this is, that's going to be for you, man. I just really... And I was like, he's what are you, challenging me? Yeah, he's <laughs> and then all of a sudden, yeah. And, and all of a sudden I had this overwhelming aggravation of like, I can't believe you don't believe that. I'm, I'm si sitting here being vulnerable and you don't believe me? Yeah. Time to mm -mm. do it. So. <laughs> fuck you, dude. <laughs> and the story goes a lot deeper. I bought my first fuck you ATM. Yeah. yeah. And, it, it, and it was incredible the way that it all happened. Yeah. How I got it. But to, we're just going to go past that. Okay. Um, and then, I, so the first ATM that I put up was over at Prior Creek Golf Course. And the craziest part about that is I was going through bankruptcy. That first season, it pulled me out of bankruptcy, which wow. I was like, wow. good for you. That's amazing. I love that entrepreneur. Like, that can happen. 100%. Then. Let him finish. Six months after that, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a, I agree with you. That's great. The, but then six months later, I had seventy five thousand dollars worth of income. Then a year and a half after that, I owned a contract for three hundred and fifty nationwide. Wow! Wow! I don't talk about it. I don't mention it. It's I'm just doing this that's for your humility. The well, and for the content, we want to give sure, you guys sure. yeah. a good story. I like it. I like it a lot. Ended up with 350 nationwide, okay? Ended up, and um, and again, long, deep story, but of me going through channels and then all of it, like how does it got, how do you hit 350 locations right, and get right, them knocked right, out? Right. And um, it was because I had hit so many locations person to person that I decided that instead of going person to person, I was gonna go through a corporation. 
Mm -hmm. And then a year after that, I went and hit that corporation. They finally were like, you were the guy that called us and asked us if we wanted an ATM. Do you think you can do 150 ATMs? And I was like, oh my God, of course I can. <laughs> oh, I got like, ATMs coming oh out of my, my ass, ass exactly. man. He's got more can ATMs I do than people here. Can I do, I could do 400. <laughs> yeah. How well, many do you need? <laughs> well, literally, but I have 120 that are in this state alone. But what I would say is that this, the ones that are maintained outside of the state, I only go into about an hour, maybe a two hour um, direction from where I live. Nice. And yep. that industry, which I know just enough about, is built on relationships yeah. and partnerships. Right, right, right. I have 120 in the state alone, but I only maintain about 30 of them myself. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 40. And those That's ones sick. you get a higher That's percentage sick. of. Those versus... ones I collect. So you, you, you were getting into the ATM oh, okay. industry, right? Okay. So you shared and, with and us you, how quick. And it then happened. you you shared with us that that you went to Prior. Prior, yeah, Prior Golf, Creek, Prior Creek Golf Course, and then right, uh, right, right. And, and so that then, one gave me, yeah, that one gave, gave me all the money. So you and, landed that one, and then how did it, it? Oh, and you went through a corporation. Yeah, I went and talked to a corporation, and those people, uh, they finally gave me the chance, and then they said, "Well, you got a, we got 150 locations we want." you to fill and i was like oh my god i don't know how i'm even gonna right that's so insane. how do you overcome that i don't know oh, how i'm gonna come this is that's gonna be and it's i don't have that i don't have whatever that equates to be because if you think of twenty two hundred dollars yeah, times like two million you know, times, whatever yeah, yeah. yeah and that's equity and or line of credit correct in working with your relationships with oh there, there was nobody loaning me any money so it was gonna so have equity. Right. money okay. right um, that I come up with. And so I came up with the idea that, all right, well, if this is the case, I'm going to subcontract out to a bunch of different ATM owners and those people can put their ATMs there. Ah, okay. Interesting. And Makes so sense. I went that direction and I filled it. Right? Surprisingly filled it. Well, you tried and it and you went for gold. Six months later, the big sister company decided to take over the, the baby company that had the 150 Oh. And I was like, man, I am going to just get my butt mm. handed to me because I know that when sister companies take over the, the littler ones, they take everything. Oh, they go, yeah. they already have somebody in. Right. The right, relationship right. changes. So yeah, the, yeah, the lady yeah. called me up and said, hey, Wayne. And I said, yeah. And she said, I got some bad news. And I said, oh, man, what's happening? She said, the company is taking over the other company. Um, and uh, yeah, we got some bad news on that, man. She said, I don't know what I'm going to do about my job. And I was like, oh, man. Oh, that sucks, yeah. She's like, yeah, we're all on pins and needles on what's going to happen. But, um, well, they have 150 other locations that they want you to fill up. And I was like, <laughs> what? I, oh, my God, what are you saying? I, I had, had a feeling that's where it's going. Job. So now we need <laughs> 400. <laughs> so I was like, Can you give me like, a job, Wayne? <laughs> I felt so terrible for her because I was, but I was so. But so happy. I know. I like, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly so, what happened. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to get to back to the drawing board. And I figured it out a second time. Yep. And yep. that yep. was yep. really incredible. And then, um, yeah, so, all right, so that was all, I was good. And a lot of people don't know this, but the largest distributor of ATMs in the nation is actually here. Uh -huh. Nobody really knew that. Nope. In, my, in, in Billings? Billings? Yeah. It's in here. No I shit. Told you nobody you don't ask me that. the right questions. Nobody knows <laughs> that. Nobody kidding. would have ever guessed. And this, no. is, this is so important to know this because, um, and I'm going to pick this up just a little bit. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's yeah. all right. Because I know that he was asking. I know he was going to ask me. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Um, don't question it. Just do but uh, just do th it. this guy, this guy named Neil Clark, he ended up. Uh, he he was just a person who distributed all of these ATMs, and I ended up being a part of his organization. And oh no shit! Yeah. So you yeah. partnered with him? And, well, and I didn't partner with him. I worked. I was just a distributor of ATMs, but I helped build the company to where he a large, huge company came in. And bought, and bought it, it and out. became sure. the monster of all uh, oh. locations. Yeah, it was pretty incredible. So, keep talking. You're oh, good. okay. Pause. No, you don't worry you're about good. your life. Keep talking. No, I don't. Even, I don't even think. It, I don't even think it matters. You can look over here. Uh, and you can see that it's. It looks good. Yeah, we're, I good. Look, we're good. I look, we're look good. Right. What up? Um, oh, we're good. Light went out, but we're good. Don't worry about it. All right. So, so then, 
What did I do after that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I lived my so, life. A happy no, 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 no. <laughs> this is this is actually a very this is the God's honest truth is that I actually did. I was ending up. Um, I decided that. I, oh, all right. What, how did, what happened? The first thing that happened was all of a sudden I was a part of the Chamber of Commerce, and then all of a sudden I got into the forty under forty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then after that, like um, I started with Bryce. Um, no, 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 no. After that, I started Advanced Wall Advertising, this advertising company where we put m monitors and big, sc big screen TVs. Oh, I remember high, that. And, and all the bars, and, and then the, you had all the advertising. Yep. And yeah, then, yeah. and there, and that concept turned into me having this idea of putting up monitors for menu boards. Yep. Right. Which now you go into McDonald's or you go into any place. They've all done. They've it. all done it. Um, and the re that went. S that was a great idea, and it went south because I pitched the idea to Dairy Queen first where all we were doing was putting up monitors and these monitors only cost 500 bucks a piece yeah. and I was like all right well we're going to do multiple monitors and then I'm just going to put a little jump drive it drive in there yeah. and then it'll run their the program yeah, that needs to it. run yep. and um and these people will be happy right all right um, like, people no, we're going to do it ourselves yeah yeah uh, they uh, yeah. weeded you out <laughs> yeah well no, well they ended up I so what happened was I presented the idea to Dairy Queen and then Dairy Queen uh, uh, threw a and uh, cease and desist letter at me. Um, For oh, uh, were they already doing it? No, because I had all of their recipes. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Oh. And <laughs> I shouldn't have used the recipes uh, on the menu. No. Whoopsie daisy. This. Oh. I didn't know that that was a yeah, thing. I didn't know that you couldn't you. do that. I mean, you that. wouldn't fucking. Yeah, is there bread and butter? Print. Everybody would do the same fucking thing. Like, so they honestly. got really, really angry that I had all of these uh, these recipes. <laughs> and but I had good put, idea. But it was a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> and then they just took it from me and then just ran with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, so what reunion, we're do? you come back, you uh, come over and hang out with me, my husband, and my kid, and you make me Dairy Queen because now okay. you have the recipes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, do you okay, still have them? That and Orange Julius, and I got that, yeah. <laughs> and Orange Julius, because oh, Dairy Queen. But we won't sell it. We'll just have it in private. Yeah, it was a, man. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. I can't believe it. it was a freaking great idea. Yeah. And mm. I just threw it in the garbage. Yeah. When you buy a, a, a Reese's Blizzard, that it's just and ice cream and Reese's. So well, well, it wasn't. Or so they weren't angry about the Dairy Queen one. They were angry about the Orange Julius one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so Orange Julius. Mix, right? And the only reason why I did the Orange Julius one was because of Amy, Amy my yep. ex-wife yep, worked yep. at Orange Julius forever and so she gave yeah so she gave me the recipes which I shouldn't be telling anybody that mm. but she gave them to me but it's or, done and over and yeah not she doesn't work at, yeah she yeah. works okay. at the nano anyway and uh so that's how I got all of the situation put together and it and it worked out incredible and then when I did my pitch the all of the Dairy Queen owners were like this is incredible and then they sent it to like the regional Approval. whatever oh, yeah. Yeah. and then they uh, like literally I went and presented it and a day later I had the cease and desist letter that's insane. Whoopsie. Yep. Up your but that's kind of insane because the recipes quote unquote is already what they put up on the menu before the screens was it they, not not, a, not not with uh, Orange Julius Interesting. Yeah. Yep. I mean, they tell you what it is, but I mean, they tell you they the don't tell you. They, 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 well, there's like, powders, there's proteins, like there's, there's all kinds yeah. of stuff that goes <laughs> one little. So they listed <laughs> all of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Eater. Okay. I mean, I didn't list. All, I didn't. So, so that was called the creation station. And what I really wanted to do was, I went and put a touchscreen computer on a little swivel thing, and then um, hung it on the wall, mm. and. Oh, Clarity. This was for the employees to use? Yeah. Ah, that's why he had them. Ooh, it wasn't the menu necessarily. It wasn't it the was menu. It was a tool for employees. So I gave him this whole entire huge That sounds pitch. like they fucking bamboozled you. Ah. Yeah. And they went, yeah, and they just knows too much. The, the reason, yeah, and the reason why it was is because they were using these little flip cards to that create the recipes and lost and lost and dirty and all of these things. Yeah, and I was like, right. why not have just a computer touchscreen? Boop, 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 and it tells you exactly what you need sure, to know. Sure, fuck yeah. yeah. And what they, oh, they loved it. They thought they were like, wow, you are going to be a millionaire. 
And I was like, really? And they're like, this is such a great idea. We're bringing this up to like the head of the heads. Like we love this idea. And then they told me to go fuck myself. And I was like, all right, I will. (laughs) Jesus. If not, I'll find somebody to do it. Did you lawyer (laughs) up on that though? No, I was, there was, what am I going to lawyer up? I, there was I no mean, money there's, there is <laughs> that point. I mean, but, there is a point where it's like, yeah, they gave you the recipes and stuff, but, but at this the same idea, point, this, like the this idea I, is this, the idea. The idea. This idea is not a. And let's put it mm-hmm. like this. All right, so now I have this ATM company, and do I really want to be messing with uh, the the chances of of things going bad and them going? Yeah, oh sure. Right, you know, they yeah, have way more money than I do, yeah, and right, right. Do I really like? No, let's just you go back to. to take well, it takes three months, out. right? And then you're yeah. out of bankruptcy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. I'll ATM. just do it again. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, after that, then I I started with uh, Lucas Silly Presents. Nowhere in my mind would I have ever thought that I could pick up the phone and call somebody like the senior VP of NBC or the senior VP right. of CBS. Right. That's or amazing. The you guys did some really cool stuff. And it was all. This is all right. So this is the truth. Okay, Lucas is fantastic when it comes with talent yeah. but he doesn't really want to be known as the person i mean i don't really know if he really wants to be known as the person uh, but you might that, assume that he doesn't want to be the person who's in contact with industry because he was a comedian at the time and oh, sure. i was i will tell you this like i was so um relatable to anybody and everybody and they hear these types of stories and they're like, that's my guy. Like, that's sure, the yeah, cool yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. I want to know yeah. that guy. And he yeah, seems yeah. like he's got his stuff together. And he's come from, like, the hardest points of life. And um, he seemed to catapult he's himself. He's a worker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's going somebody to grind we can it with trust us. Yep. Yeah. And uh, the first time that I ever made, this is incredible. The first time I called this lady, Karen Church, from CBS. And I called her office, and me being a dumb, naive person, was like, I'm going to pick up the phone and call CBS. <laughs> boop, boop. Google that like, shit. I'm going to call her office and I'm going to talk to her and I'm going to invite Karen Church to Big Sky Comedy Festival <laughs> and she's going to be like, we were just, I was just so dumb we're and naive. We're best friends. Yeah. And uh, I, so I call and it's like, uh, the se- you know, the receptionist, like uh, Karen Church's office, ZBS Karen Church's office. And I was like, yeah, um, I was just curious um, if Karen Church is around. I'd love to talk to her. It's like, uh, no, she bad start. Who are bad you? Start. <laughs> she goes, uh, Not on a good start, uh, she's in a meeting right now. I can take your name <laughs> and number so and give her a message, which I will probably throw away in a couple minutes. Right. Yeah. And, uh, oh gosh, and I said, so Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. My name's Wayne Wilcox. I'm, uh, have her call the, me, call me back. One <laughs> <of> the, <laughs> have her call me back. Call me. <laughs> uh, I and I said say from big sky comedy festival and no joke. I hear from the back, like, Oh crap. And you just hear like this rustling. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah running over there and like whatever. And then she's like, Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Wilcox. I'll patch you through right now. Oh my so, gosh. Was mind. that? A and I go, energy. what? Are you so first when she said to me, uh, yeah, she's in a meeting. And then when she said, no, I was just going to, I'll just, no, I need to patch you through right now. And she just got out of her yeah. meeting. I was like, all right. So she's yeah, really sure. not Thanks, in the meeting. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and then it was like, Wayne, how's it going? And she never oh, even met gosh. me. I was like, yeah, yeah. Hey, I uh, was just wanted to see if like, how was uh, your meeting yeah <laughs> <laughs> what was it about was who were you meeting fast. with at the water cooler you know yeah. that was super fast and uh <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious what great timing <laughs> yeah and uh and no and she ended up being like the coolest person to talk to sure so it was so great she invited us to go to cbs to talk to all of the big wigs to discuss everything that had to do with big sky comedy festival and then they were like we really feel like we should make an actual um docuseries about this oh wonderful and i was like what are the chances that we we make a docuseries up and everybody that it needs to be there is there you got the talent you got casting for cbs casting for nbc the booker of conan booker of fallon like the the largest um booker for cruise ships sure which is that's a huge 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 market huge industry like for entertainment some Mm -hmm. like yeah all everything opened up right right and this all happened because this one guy named 
His name was Mark Scroggs. I invited him. Uh, he was just a regular agent, and he said he came to our first Big Sky Comedy Festival, and he said, man, I just enjoyed you so much, and I enjoyed, like, everything about the festival. I mean, how would you like to... How, listen, I got to do something to pay it forward. How would you like my Rolodex? Oh, my and, God. And I go, what? And then I go like this. I go... Your Rolodex. I don't. Yeah, I don't want your Rolodex. So what, is that? That? what does that mean? I have, have a, watches. Do you have a roll? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my watches are coded right for here. my drug we use. Do our <laughs> quaaludes right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> do you think so do you cold. think we have the quality of cocaine for me to have a Rolex in Montana? <laughs> yeah, I know. Get out of here. Like, I was like, who are you going to hook me up with, Macaulay Culkin? I'm like, so, I'm like, come on. I'm like, are oh, you such a This is yeah, exactly. And this this is so true. It that's his, this was my response, and he go he just chuckled, and he's like, "You're a funny, you're a funny guy, Wayne." Oh my gosh! And I go, "Yeah," and he's like, Am "No, really? <laughs> like all I want you to do is just respond to the email that I send you, <laughs> just respond with yes, you're all invited, and that's all you need, Wayne." And I go, oh my gosh. "What? A, oh, okay, I guess the joke's on me." Like <laughs> sometimes it's whatever. so simple. Maybe like, Macaulay Culkin's coming, <laughs> and uh, so no, he sends me. He hooks me up with this huge email of nothing but like casting directors of like 20th Century Fox and Lionsgate and like just you, yeah, like yeah. the people that you're like, what are you, who, where am I, what world is this? And, uh, and it just said, hey, everybody, just wanted to let you know I wanted to include Wayne Wilcox, the head of Big Sky Comedy Festival. Uh, he's the guy that's doing all of the bookings for all of the industry. Um, so, and then it was just kind of left it open like that. And I was like, hey. Woof. Hi, hey, everybody. Guys. Um, I'm, my name is um, Wayne. And yeah. um, do you have people who um, yeah. are funny? Yeah, no, no I wasn't. No. They, are um, you guys um, in a meeting right no, now? No, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, but what it really was was everybody was like, "Oh my God, you're the guy! Wow, you're the guy, the guy that's doing all. You book all of the industry people. Um, how do you get your talent? They were like, "How are you getting this? How are you getting that? Like so yeah, yeah. engaged, it was just nonstop. Dope. The it's list. A lot. That's a lot. I would say that I probably have like maybe four hundred contacts with. That's how that's how much how yeah. hard he hooked me up. Wow, that's incredible. Man. It, and it really that's it incredible. only I think that's what people I would have taken realize. the Rolex. Yeah, in <laughs> industries, <laughs> in any industry, it takes one good relationship to yeah. open yeah, a door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. it can be the floodgate door. Right. Yeah, and right. it was. Yeah, and it was so crazy that it was that this like guy. A, your breaking moment, like. Well, and I don't know. No, it was, we were gonna we were gonna break no matter what. Yeah. Okay, yeah. because it, he the, wasn't the only one. He was just the catalyst to where everybody else said, oh, my God, if you guys haven't met this guy. Right. You know, then all of a sudden, like the head of the comedy store and the head of like um, yeah. of the improv were like, if you, we were there, we know that. And they were like, are you kidding? You know, they, it was just incredible, like how all of a sudden it was like an infe it was an infection that went out and just took over the whole entire I love it and I was like wow and infection is probably like the worst word to use nope but I like it kind of, I yeah. prefer yeah, yeah. it yeah. and it, and so then so then like that's how come I all of a sudden I was like well if I'm this good then I guess I can just call CBS casting and talk to <laughs> Karen Church her and emails it works. yeah and it, and it, and legit it works. legitimately worked wow. and this was like months after he sent the email right. mm -hmm. they, and all we were doing was we were going through rifling through all of the contacts that that I had just set up, and I was like, okay, I'm going to call this person and this person and this person. I'm just going to go down the list of the people that I would really love to Put have. Me through to Alec Baldwin. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I need Alec Baldwin. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and then it was, the, and then the uh, the the insanity. All of a sudden, they knew us so well that that's how I got Dave Chappelle booked. Oh for yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to come and perform before his Netflix At special. At the Alberta Bear, yeah. Because somebody said over there in LA, if you want to work on your work on your material, you should go someplace where nobody is. Right. Well, who, how far away do we have to get? Welcome to LA. Welcome to Montana. Montana. <laughs> and by the way, well, we're going to do four shows in Montana. Right. And, and then they were like, do you want it? And I was like, duh. Uh, duh. 
And it was, you know what was, it's really kind of interesting and it still comes around. The reason I got to bring Little Wayne was the same thing. Sure. The Little Wayne concert oh, wow. came through the fact that this contact had talked to a person who said, you know who you should touch base with? <laughs> the guy who did the Dave Chappelle show. Wow. Look at how much money that guy made him. Right, right. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Don't tell me you did, you, you booked the nightmare show with Tracy Morgan. No, I didn't do that. Thank God. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Even, I didn't oh. know there was a nightmare Tracy Morgan show. No, I didn't, I didn't do that one. The mic. I was in the crowd for that nightmare show with Tracy. No, Morgan. I didn't do that one. I didn't do that one. It was and months it was months before his accident. He was in a bad place. Mm. Yeah. And it so was the dir- it was the dirtiest, most racist show. Wow. Half the audience walked out. Really? Oh. <gasps> really? It was it was, it was, it, it was in the Alberta Bear. It was in the Alberta. Uh I'm gonna 19? say I'm gonna say ten if the uh, if no, no, it's probably beyond, more like maybe six, eight, yeah. maybe six eight, to six, eight, maybe eight to six. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Wow. But it was it was it was the uh, it was the most uncomfortable show I've ever been a That's part a of. Yeah. No, I didn't yeah. do that one. Okay, good. Okay. I felt I felt pretty. Yeah. Little Wayne, good about that. can you give me a one minute? You're the one who got him here. The I recent, didn't get him here. The, the person. Recent Little Wayne? Yeah, the Little Wayne concert. I didn't okay. get. I didn't. I was just affiliated with it because there was a guy who wanted to put on the concert. His uh-huh. name was LaFonte, and LaFonte needed help getting him from point A to point B, and he wasn't gotcha. creating enough traction right. to get, he only had one month. And right. what happened yeah, was- Yeah, no, that was quick. It yeah, was yeah, a it was quick really It was a situation, yeah. you know, all right, so there's a few different things that are really interesting about this concert, was the fact that number one, all right, so it was a completely sold out event, completely sold out, um his his tour was right right Mm -hmm. and then um because fargo had the worst hail or worst storm that they had ever had they had to skip fargo and move on well they said that with fargo they they were like well we'll just who cares about those guys we'll Mm -hmm. just throw it aside for north dakota yeah and he said and little wayne fashion uh which Little Wayne, I believe, is a, an incredible human being. Said, "No, I want to continue to do the show. What? Well, let's just worry about it later when we have an opening." Right. So what happened was they went and did their thing, and everything was just one right after the other, after the other. That they had to go and put the Fargo show at the end right. of the tour. Oh, sure. And then when they went to do and did the rescheduling part of it, they ended up obviously in L.A where the thing where he walked off stage 30 minutes. Right, of, right, right. Well, these guys in L.A., there was just a whole bunch of industry people who were, like, at the concert, and they were throwing a bunch of stuff on stage. And, like, Ooh. and Little Wayne was like, dude, we work too hard for this. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, yeah. I don't need you guys throwing stuff up at my acts and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And everybody, the, then the media spun it yep. to where he was just, like, just a piece of garbage. And so then everybody in Billings, there was already all of this stuff happening. It was like, well, who's going to go and see the show now? Is he even really going to come? Right, right, right. Well, they were going to, so they were going to do it in in Fargo. um, And then they said, well, it's going to cost us to, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars to move all of his stage equipment all the way up to there. Why would we even want to bother doing the show? We're just going to lose money. Right. Uh And then, uh, so then LaFonte came up with the idea, well, why don't we just come up with a, another location to throw a show? And they're like, well, where are they going to pick? <laughs> and they said, <laughs> they said, well, we know this guy out in Billings, <laughs> Montana. <laughs> and like, His name's Chappelle also show. Wayne. <laughs> yeah, his name, and so <laughs> that's, yeah, and that's how it really happened. I love that's it. That's awesome. And then they were like, well, we really need, like, we need a, a few different things from you. And I was like, dude. I will tie into this. Not only is it in my hometown, not only do I get to help bring him, not like th- what are the chances that it's going to ever happen again? Sure. Right. Yeah. Right. Not, not only do I get Bryce's um, perfection of a, uh, of, of a, of a, Facebook post with dreads and. Oh yeah. 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 And we then, all saw that. We all well, saw and that. It was a little too late. But it was perfect when yeah. he did like that. When he did that, he all right. So basically, what he did was he photoshopped, photoshopped. my face yeah, yeah. on Little Wayne's face. That Loved it, and that was that, was was, that took off. Yeah, it was the day of. That was, was the, the day, day of. of, which it should have uh, it should have been 
a long time. If that would have yeah, done that, yeah, yeah. it would have created a lot more traction. <laughs> At least weeks. But well, we I, also know Bryce. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Bryce shows Very up spur of the moment. He's great. Last minute. He, day up. He yeah. just hit it last minute. Yeah. Sorry, Bryce. He's Love incredible. You. Last minute. <laughs> so right? good. Um, and so, that all right. So I would say this. It was the best show I've ever seen and I pro- probably ever see in my entire That's life. That's amazing. Really? That's, That's what I've heard, cool. not wow. only from you, but from a bunch of cool. other people. That's very it cool. was, I, I couldn't believe cool. that I was lucky enough. And then you want to know the best part about that? Well, the best part about the whole entire thing, because there was a lot of people who were hating and they were like, right. we don't know if it's going to actually happen. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. Knew yeah. we did this and that. Right. And he's very disrespectful and yeah. like, what a piece of shit. And like, and then somebody said, well, you know who was bringing him? Wayne Wilcox. And when they said that, they were like, oh, well, if it's Wayne, like, obviously, he's not going to put his name on it if it isn't actually going to happen. Oh, God. So then there was this huge, like, momentum. Know, Dude, Jesus. yeah, but there was this huge momentum of people like, oh, my God, I got to get ready. And like, Wayne's doing wow. it. Okay. Yeah. That's so, awesome. That's super that was Summarizing incredible. this. Wait, wait, wait. Morgan, one more thing. Sorry, mm. I don't mean to interrupt you. Oh, <laughs> one more. I was going to summarize because we're at 840. Yeah, I know we are. Heard. So one more thing, Wayne. I just wanted to bring this up. Rise Again Tattoo. I know you were a big part <laughs> oh, of, of, of honoring those gift certificates. And I want to give you your respects oh, dude, for doing you. all you. of that. And I honor you and, and oh, respect you, you for, for honoring those gift certificates. That's huge. Dude. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate that. Um, well, and I know you did it without any, you didn't necessarily need your name attached to it. You just did was, it because you oh. understood. I, I'm actually, can you give me a one minute version of why did you? Yeah, yeah. I I'll mean, give you, uh, there's a, there, oh, these are all long stories, but uh, <laughs> a synapsis That's of it. That's why I was trying to summarize. There, there was I'm a sorry. synapsis Corey. of it. I'm sorry, and the synapsis of it was that, um, Number one, I just don't, like, I've lived here all my life. Yeah. I think that there's a lot of incredible people. People in here right now are, you know, I share my love with you guys. I think you guys are great. Oh, I've always shucks. loved you, Chaz. You already know that. I've always loved you. Yeah. And um, Wayne makes me pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> good stories. Are you making me pancakes? I'm going to make Never. you some pancakes sometime. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> but uh, uh, so with Alex, um, that situation came down to... The fact that, well, number one, it was happening to a few different people of mine that I knew. And I'm just Mm -hmm. integrated with everybody guilty by association. And the idea is like, why is this guy doing this? And we're watching him as he's selling his stuff on Facebook. Oh, see, I didn't see that part. We're watching him as he's getting rid of all of his stuff. And everybody's wondering, like, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah. 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 And and they're still going and getting these, uh, these gift certificates. And then I stopped in. I have a bunch of ATMs at a bunch of different uh, tattoo shops, and I just happened to stop in with um, with a Forget Me Not Tattoo, and she said, well, there's another one. And I said, what the hell is this? And she's like, that's the gift certificate that I'm just going to honor a gift certificate because um, I used to work there, and I don't work there anymore, but I think it's good to like have a good name. Yeah, and I just yeah. said, you know what, man? that's incredible and my ex-wife ended up having one and she couldn't get hers honored and so then i just decided like and i was standing there and i was like do you think i should just should i just cover all of them like i don't want you guys to have to take care of that Uh, you guys don't ask in the tattoo business none of them have ever asked anything of me and they're not doing it to be millionaires no and they're not they're doing it for their their craft and love they make ends meet and so then i'm saying and here you got this asshole forgive me but like this asshole who's taking advantage just just going to full tilt um taking advantage of people and so i decided well then why not get like maybe 10 of the best tattoo shops together have them all agree with the fact that i will cover the cost Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they just need to schedule the appointment Mm -hmm. that's all they're not doing anything else i will cover the cost of however much you spent i don't even care if you had a gift certificate or didn't have a gift certificate wow. i think that is more important that right at that exact moment all of these people wanted to get a tattoo yeah. and right there it's the famine part of the industry we're going through december and february everybody in the industry it affects yeah. all tattoos <clears throat> because because it's hard to to I, I know tattoo people know their artists and all that stuff but but if you don't 
Well, that was you a don't huge, know. That's a huge you burden, dude. And that had to have been. Uh, so I opened it up for an entire week, and it was. <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. I'm not <laughs> I bet lie. it was. Yeah. I was. I, I was. But beside, nothing but, three months couldn't solve. But yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. One more ATM. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. But you know what was really interesting is then when it all came back around and they left and nobody knew where they went and then guess what happened the they most opened. beautiful thing in the entire world we found them in lake havasu uh-huh. and you want to know how we found them it was because now all they did was somebody had google or some we had a picture of one of the tattoos that he had done right yeah and we did a google image search and yeah. it tracked it all the way back to lake havasu wow. and then I one. was hoping he was going to Got use one of your her. ATMs and you Oh, that would have been a really <laughs> oh, Damn it. Damn it, I wanted that so hard. <laughs> no, it was it would have been incredible. It would have been incredible. Uh that would have been incredible. But still, yeah. it was good enough to do the image search yeah. and then all of a sudden uh there was a message board that it popped up on a message board. Destroyed that man. And that message board was destroyed so hard by the community of yeah, billings yeah. that they were like can you please n- like can we not have yeah it might have been <laughs> and but it, it was really amazing because the amount, amount of money that had been spent w- it was so gratifying to just see the entire community be like no, we're going to stand up for it. Actually, we know who the person is. Yeah. And, uh, it's that guy. Yeah. Yeah. and it's yeah. that, guy, right that and guy. And he's the one that's talking and shut the fuck up yeah. because yeah, yeah. he, we know because he spent all of this money. And then it was like posts of like, this is my tattoo that Wayne paid for. Thank <laughs> you so much. And I was like, Thanks, oh Wayne. my God. Wait, 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 wait. Like, Question. Did anyone get your name tattooed on them? No. Oh, uh, damn it. I'm sorry, Wayne. Oh, mother man. fucker. Missed opportunity to show mother pay homage. Yeah. I have it. No, no we, don't. Back we on. just saw no. his, the crack of his ass. I wish somebody could have panned for that. <laughs> that We're not Incredible. that technologically advanced. Uh, well, yet. I tell you what. We are coming down to we the end. Are. We're, in we're, fact, we're, we're, we're past the end. The end. Yeah. Yep. But there is much more to talk about because we were still on Wayne before Dipshit <laughs> over here brought us into tattoos. We, we have, I like that. that was we have one. so many more stories that we have to come out of. Yeah. We're still in the middle of an ATM story. We haven't and even, your origin story. Yeah, we haven't even... There's We haven't even scratched the surface on the comedy story. F- we haven't scratched the surface on... Real estate on market? Noise and color. Noise and no, color? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. All the that real estate shit. stuff. All of that yeah. shit. This is, yeah. So, Wayne, we would love to have you back on if that's yeah. okay with you yeah. at some point in time. It's been fun. Also, no, would you no, like no, a different no. soda next time? No, no, that soda was a rep Pepsi that, is the way to that, go. That is a good one. Thank uh, you, Pepsi. Sponsored yeah. by Pepsi. 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 Almost Morgan threw, not really. I almost threw up all over the. No, I didn't throw up all over the. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, okay, no, I'm pop. good. But no. hell yeah. Unfortunately, we do have to bring this to a close, we, but, yeah. but there's so much more to go. We, we've got the tip of the iceberg, and as we all know about icebergs, 90% of them are under the water. Under the surface. We yeah. just got the surface. So. Yeah, we were like, we, we touched maybe 5%. A snowflake yeah. on top 5%, of the iceberg. Yeah. yeah. There's so much more that I can go into. I love it. I, love I can't it. wait. And this is, Let's I, do it. This is very therapeutic. Good. Oh no, I hope so. I love that. I love that. Therapy hour and didn't know. I this fucking love that. You know, I'm a big. You fan know of what? That. I've decided that with this, I'm going to be talking to my childhood nine-year-old self. Yes. <laughs> That's how much therapy I've I just love gotten. it. I yeah. absolutely <laughs> love it. Well, Wayne, thank you so very wait, much wait, for joining wait. us today. You thank you, you very, you very much. For me with them. A what word in for you? Yeah. What's the word, Corey? Yeah. Just to women aren't funny. Women are yes. funny. Hey, Corey, remember, uh, we have to say bye to Wayne, so we have to uh, get <laughs> Dirty Dan in here. Dirty Dan. Where is he? Where is he? All right, so Wayne Wilcox, thank you so much for joining us yet again. There's Dirty there. Dan over there. Yeah, Dirty Dan's up there. Put you. your hands together, Dirty Dan. Put Come on, together. man. Put it together. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. yeah, there's Dirty Dan. Morgan, thank you so very much for being such a wonderful co-host. Thank you so much. I enjoyed. You know what I'm really excited about? I was so intently listening to Mm -hmm. your stories. Mm -hmm. I've known Wayne for 20 years, Mm -hmm. and I I am enthralled and excited to know you as a human. Oh, thank you. I've never been this quiet. (laughs) Thank you, Wayne. You're so very welcome. Yes, thank you for coming, Wayne. You're so very welcome.
sure. Awesome. And very much, most importantly, thank you all of our listeners who stuck around and listened to our podcast again. Please, 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 please give us a great review. Five stars. Smash star. it. Make sure smash you smash it. that bell. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all the fun things smash that we need you to do so we can keep doing what we do so we can continue Listen, to have Wayne Wilcox. I will come back. Very much for joining us on the Claptrap. And again, please ring that bell, like, subscribe, Ding. dude, five stars, good reviews, all those things because you guys help us out and you guys give us the ability to have Wayne Wilcox back Thank on. A hundred likes, fifty shares. That is our milestone because we're gonna that's what we need to yeah, get Wayne need, Wilcox back. I will at do that. Least. And we'll do something cool charity wise. Hundred percent. Yeah, like that. yeah you know no, what? I totally agree. If I come back. We'll put that in the comments. We'll get it figured out together. Yeah, that looks yeah, 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 absolutely. Like that. Put we'll down do your it. favorite charity in the comments yeah. and all that fun let's stuff and we'll see what we can do. This is episode number Number nine of the claptrap. Thank you guys so very much. We will see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Wayne. Mucho, mucho, mucho gracias. Yeah, love it.